Uh, look, we've just uh, just a report back on the uh, EB negotiations. Uh, it's Tuesday, the 26th of November, at around 25 past seven. We've not long returned from the Fair Work Commission, uh, where we had further conciliation conferences today with AV and the Department of Health. The union proposed a way forward in regard to a settlement and provided a document to AV and the Department of Health on behalf of the government. And unfortunately, uh, AV and the government have withdrawn from the negotiations. So negotiations have ceased, conciliation conferences have ceased, and uh, they've withdrawn from any further discussions at this stage. Um, the union will inform the members uh, with further information uh, via bulletins uh, on Facebook sites, social media, other social media sites, uh, and we'll keep the information up to you as best we possibly can. Uh, there will be a, a state council meeting on the 11th of December for all of our delegates and state councillors to come to. We'll be changing the time of that meeting. It's normally commencing at 10 o'clock. We'll change the time to 8.30 to discuss what we will do in regard to our plans over the next few months regarding this EBA process. It appears that this government has decided to go on the attack of emergency service workers. Not only have they withdrawn from our discussions today, they did the same yesterday in the ESTA negotiations that were pretty close to resolution and they've walked away from those negotiations. Um, so clearly there's a message there from this government that they show little respect for emergency service workers, in particular you know, people working at ESTA and now paramedics and other ambulance employees. Um, on the 11th of December, which is the day that State Council will be on, the reason for the change to 8.30 is that we are conducting a rally of members outside Parliament House. Parliament is sitting. The rally will commence at 10.30. Um, we expect as many members as possible across the state to attend that rally uh, in their Code Red uh, campaign um, t-shirts and uniform. Uh, and any banners and things like that, but we'll be in, in touch with you about that. Uh, and we want to make as much noise as we possibly can in regard to letting Napthine and his government know how disappointed you are in them walking away from the negotiations and, of course, the lack of respect that they show towards ambulance employees. Uh, as I say, we'll keep the information up to you as best we possibly can and that information will be drip fed out to you uh, in every which way that we can do that to you. We will also go on the attack on the marginal seats. So there's 11 marginal seats that are held by the, the Libs or the, the Nationals. Um, these are state marginal seats. Um, we'll inform the members of those, those particular electorates uh, and the sitting members in those seats and we'll be seeking to rally outside every one of those 11 offices um, in those marginal seats as best we can and until we get a resolution to this EB campaign. Um, so we'll keep all that information coming out to you uh, as soon as possible, uh, but hang in there, keep the writing on the windows of the ambulances, uh, keep your campaign t-shirts on, keep the stickers on the trucks, uh, keep feeding us in as much information about ramping up response times, adverse cases, um, give us as much information as we possibly can so we can utilise that um, in any shape, way or form that we need to. Uh, thanks for that for now and we'll come back to you with further information.